On Wednesday, January 17th, Hawaiian students hopped onto a bus to start their journey to the March for Life. Once they reached North American Martyrs, they got off to hear a speech from Bishop Conley. And thank you guys for um, signing up to go on the march this year because it's so important. They moved their stuff into charter buses for the long 24-hour trip. Many stops were made on the way toward D.C., along with many beautiful views. And also great memories. The following day, they reached D.C. late at night, then immediately crashed into a real bed. The students were very happy about this. I feel much better. I can actually breathe and I can stretch my life. Uh, it was nice to sleep in the bed. The next day, the students were bused to the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. The students were given time to explore and then had Mass. After Mass, the students were sent away and given the opportunity to explore the many different sites and museums in D.C. The metro system was quite helpful in getting people around in the city. My experience on the metro has been generally good. Uh, it took a little while to get tickets, but it was really a smooth process. The train rides have been quick and, and uh, not overcrowded and we're getting where we need to go and it's been a good experience. The next day, Friday, January 19th, was the day of the march. The students first went to the Life Fest, which offered confessions, praise and worship, and mass. After that, they left to go to the march. Following a few speeches, the marchers were sent down the paths. So it's important that at the March for Life every year it has a huge impact. This is the pro-life generation. Oh, very. Um, you know, we still have a big battle to do. So many abortions could have been staved off if we were willing to get into the mess of people's lives and let them know that they're not alone. This pilgrimage, let your march today be the start of a fire in your own heart that grows. With a successful march, they had another 24-hour trip to come back to Nebraska, bringing a new spiritual experience to share to the world.